I'll pay you back afterwards. For what? Cooking the best dinners, being the best boyfriend, knowing how to make me feel better. Mm, do we have to wait until after dinner? Yes, I you pervert! Well, hello everybody and welcome back to Dreamfall Chapters. So, we finished talking to Queenie. So now we're going to be looking for Neela Bites. I have no idea where she could be. And it's probably going to be a lot of walking around. So, I'm just going to walk around town, do a circle, and see if I can find her. And I'll cut back as soon as I get to her. I don't know, could it be this woman at the stand here? It's you! Hello? Who? Me? The superhero from my dream! You're her! Oh, it's the little girl! Oh, hey! Uh, I'm not her. With the monster in the closet. Yes, you were in my dream. You told me it'd be alright, and it was. You helped me wake up. You're mistaken. I don't even own a dream machine. I couldn't possibly have been in your dreams. It was you. You were there. I don't use it much anymore. The dream machine. Most of the time, I say no, just like you told me to. I read and good for you, girl. I'm reading a lot. The book I'm reading right now is about this girl who's dreaming but doesn't know she's dreaming. I'm worried about Mum. She's always in dream time. She prefers that to being awake. She doesn't eat much or go outside ever. Thank you for helping me. Uh, Zoe, right? Thank you, Zoe. Uh, how do you... I didn't... What? Well, you're welcome, girl. What the hell was that all about? I don't know her. Do I? Yes, you do. It's so familiar, but... I haven't... I haven't seen her before. I'm certain of it. <laughs> don't look so spooked, Zoe. You'll find out sooner or later. Where's the woman that was here? Food crates. It's how Nela gets her daily deliveries. Then where is she? She's supposed to be here, right? Gone to restock, back soon. Odd. Nela doesn't typically leave her cart during peak business hours. She usually restocks first thing. Look at Nela. The note says she's gone to restock. Uh, okay, so is she back at Chinatown, or is she over at that place where you can buy organs? I hope not. That would be awful if she put those organs in her food, though. But we'll find out sooner or later, so this is going to be a lot of running around. So I'll continue looking, and uh, I'll come back when I find her. You know? I ran two complete circles and I really can't find the girl, so I'm heading back and hope I can find some clues on where she's gone or... Because really, I could not find her. Gone to restock, back soon. Odd. Nela doesn't typically leave her cart during peak business hours. She usually restocks first thing. Oh, holy crap, what's this? The collective. Okay. So now... Hmm. It's a receipt belonging to Nella. Now we just gotta find that store, though. Wait, maybe it's on the map here. I'm here to give you directions, miss. You just tell me where you want to go today. I heard Caprova Street used to be one of the main thoroughfares before the latest construction work in Propass. It's also where the metro station is located. The Uminska campaign. Anytime you need a rootin' tootin' six barrel shootin' crow cowboy to give you directions to anywhere in Propass, you just call on the crow boy. It's too bad I can't skip it. Although I like it, why can't I skip it, you know? Because <laughs> it doesn't make sense to listen to it every time. 
Now where the hell could this store be? Wait, it might be down there. Let's go take a look downstairs. There's no way you can convince me that Kaiser Constantine. Kaiser Constantine. So we got a Kaiser. You know, I really love this ge game. Okay, that was odd. But they should make it a little bit more obvious. Because how the hell was I supposed to know to look in the crates? And yes, it's down here. <laughs> Thank God, I was beginning to believe that I would never complete this. <laughs> Guarded by two agents. You're disrupting traffic. Keep walking. I'm just walking by, and I'm not even on the road. I do my part. That is exactly what you said. But I have to draw the line somewhere. I'm all about shifting the balance of power, huh? About getting the Bonza to think twice. Not about fucking shit up just for the sake of fucking shit up. That's not what I signed up for. I want to pick up my supplies and get back to feeding the barrio. If I can convert some sozis and better heads while I'm at it, great. If not, I move on. That don't sound like someone's committed to the course. Oh, fuck off. I'm delivering as promised, no? I'm getting a friend to source me the nanotech. She has special access. A couple of days, week at most. But with the eye poking into my affairs, committing random acts of personal violation, drones and checkpoints everywhere. Time to tread a little more cautiously, lest we find ourselves bereft of food, card, food and freedom. Anything else you need me for, brother, I'm all game. I remember you saying you'd walk the walk, not just talk the talk. I need to draw my line somewhere, and this is where I draw it. Whatever, as long as you deliver. Colo, seriously, when do I not? Okay, and you guys were openly discussing it while a guard was walking past. That was smart. That was really smart. Puta Dupek, what are you doing here? I was just... you weren't at the cart, so I went looking. You went looking? Are you spying on me, Zike? Jesus, Enspanella, no. I wanted to ask you about Hannah Roth. Hannah? Hannah? What the hell for? I need to find her. That doesn't answer my question, and you won't find her. She's... Shy as I just stop. Stop looking, stop asking, and stop following me. This is not something you want to get involved in. Just let it go, and go, get out of here. You're not going to find Hannah, and you're not going to ask me about her again. Why not? Go, get the fuck out of here! Watch your frickin' mouth. Return to Baruti at the election headquarters. Okay, guess we'll go and see Baruti. But Jesus! I didn't expect her to flip like that. Like, I'm just asking a frickin' question. So this Hannah must be an important person, you know? Very important person. Hmm. I still want that mohawk, though. It would be <laughs> awesome to have it. Oh, and I don't mean on the character either, I mean on my actual head. Mr. London ain't too happy with how you're messing about in his barrio, Sozie. <sighs> Easy, cousin. I ain't I'm your not... cousin, mate. I ain't your mate, neither. Mr. London says you ain't never asked for his blessings, Colo. Mr. London, he ain't too happy about that, him. Mr. London says it's disrespectful. Tell Mr. London that I'm not messing with anything. I'm just running a political campaign. Maybe if we could have a civil discussion about this, instead Oi, of- Oi, Essie, you talk to me, not to Mr. London. No one talks to Mr. London. And there's no discussion to be had. We have no use for your commie comrades in Propast. In this barrio, we vote Wolf! <laughs> oh, I see what's going on. This isn't about Tef or respect, is it? It's about Kaiser Constantine and his Fasho army. Is it me or does the voice of that guy not fit the character? Upset that Leia Uminska is not willing to stoop to his level and pay you off? Mm, you're just hmm. a cheap crook, London! Saving whichever master pays you the- ah! Hey! Let him go! 
Wait, what? Was that me? Otherwise, don't get involved, Suka. You just get your fresh messed up. Wouldn't look too good with a broken. Sorry, I just couldn't leave him like I that. I didn't you understand know? any of that, but if you don't let him go, I'm calling the police. A pala. Scheiße. You think the police are going to interfere? Do you know who this is? <laughs> du bist ein Stummkopf. This is Mr. London. And he owns the Buller in Propast. Now fuck off before I get total anger pissed and decide to... I'm not even sure that was a word, by the way. He's a man who is 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 a Kelly 怎樣可以啊,偉大的軍人們都。你有一個乜嘢都無法切穿的盾牌,同一個乜嘢都能切穿的長矛。我哋點樣可以同時存在? don't speak Cantonese. 商人,我去個盾牌同一個長矛。Wow. Just. <laughs> okay, that was a funny Please. story. <laughs> He's harmless. I don't know if it was a wise idea to interfere. Let me listen to you, Kutas. This is Mr. London's barrio. And the sooner you get that through your cocoa, the less mal you'll need to deal with. But I just couldn't leave him, you know? I just couldn't let him get beat up or even killed, you know? So, I had to step in. Jesus, Baruti, are you okay? I think so. Thanks for speaking up, Zoe. I appreciate it. Although... I'm not sure it was the smartest thing to do. Probably not. You're on his radar now. Mm-hmm. I couldn't just stand by and watch. Are you sure you're all right? I am. But I'm not going anywhere tonight. I'm just going to watch Leia stream not from the office. Do you need anything? You don't have to stay here by yourself, you know. I can stay or you can come home with me. I'm fine, Sissy. Really. They were just trying to scare me. <laughs> Mission accomplished. They're not coming back. Not today, at least. We can worry about tomorrow, tomorrow. Okay. About Queenie and... Let's talk about that tomorrow, too. Right now, eh, I just want to sit down with a cup of hot tea and enjoy a rousing speech. I understand. But, Baruti, please lock the door and ring if there's anything. I won't argue with you there. See you on Thursday, Sissy. See you on Thursday. Well, that was kind of conflicted because it's Thursday for me, at least. So, where are we going? Ressa's making dinner. Head home to your apartment on the Sonnenschein Plaza. Okay, I gotta find out where that is. So, I gotta talk to Mr. Rudin Tudin again. But I'm There's going to skip to, to our home. So, see you guys there. So... I'm guessing it's somewhere here. Yeah, there. Sonnenschein. So, would it be this? Map. Get your map here. I would. Map. I don't know. Is this like a restaurant or a home? Oh, it is actually home. Oh, you got a nice home. Hey. Ooh, oh, smells good. What are you making? Risotto. Come over here. Oh, it actually does sound good. Mm, nice to see you too. I needed that. Why? What's going on? We had a real scare at the campaign office. What happened? Baruti got pushed around by Mr. London's goons and London himself. 
Jesus, is he okay? He's fine. He's probably fine. How about you? Are you okay? I'm okay. They didn't touch me. But you got involved? I had to. I couldn't just let them do that to Baruti. I really wish you'd stayed out of it. You don't know what those people are capable of. They're just cowards. Cowards with the might of the Syndicate behind them. Still just cowards. Look, I'll be okay. They wanted to scare Baruti. Nothing's gonna happen, they're not gonna come after me. About earlier. I'm sorry I pushed your therapy buttons. I didn't mean to pry. Don't worry about it, Rez. I was tired. I'm okay talking. Really. And I do feel better. It's helping? It's helping. Mostly because of you. Let's hope you don't change your mind after this risotto. How was your day? It better be good risotto, be mate. Yours. I published that bingo piece. Now I'm following up the leads on the clampdown. It's getting ridiculous out there. Everyone's on edge. I know the campaign work is important to you, but you need to be careful about getting involved in local affairs. Even Sully doesn't want us to write too much about what's happening here in Propass. If you stop reporting things because you're afraid of what will happen, you're censoring yourself. We need to pick our battles. Like that Mr. London It's a small business. place, by the way. He shakes businesses down, runs the local black market. Bad, sure, but not corporate level bad. Or Kaiser Constantine bad. I guess. I'm not happy about it either, but sometimes you need to let the small fish go in order to catch the bigger fish. Mm -hmm. I get that. Maybe I'm an idealist. We Maybe. Both are. But I'm also a realist. And I really wish you'd drop the campaign work. Oh, come on. Hey, come over here and taste this. <sighs> I don't like his tone. It's not the first time we've had this argument, and I'm... I'm tired. I want to have a quiet evening. I should just let it go. Well, I feel you there, Missy, because his tone... Holy crap, he feels like he's the big boss, you know, in the relationship. I don't like his tone, and it's not the first time we've had this argument. Sometimes Reza can be so controlling. I don't like it. What's the matter? Uh, nothing. I just... I know he doesn't understand why I'm volunteering. I can't say I understand it either. Politics was never me. I wish he'd be supportive, regardless. I don't understand it, but I need it. I don't know, girl, because if you don't even understand why you're doing it, you can't ask somebody to be really supportive of it, especially because he doesn't understand why you're doing it, and you don't understand why you're doing it. So being... Su mm. He's never been supportive of the campaign work, but I don't want to fight. It won't lead anywhere good. And I don't even understand why it's so important to me. But it makes me feel better about myself. Like I'm being proactive. Making a difference. Mm, makes the most sense. It's nothing. So come over here and taste this. I promise it'll be worth your time. It better be. It will affect our relationship. Okay. How is it? It's good. Really good. I can't wait to eat. I'll pay you back afterwards. For what? Cooking the best dinners, being the best boyfriend, knowing how to make me feel better. Mm, do we have to wait until after dinner? Yes, you pervert! Is that important? <laughs> Not in the Can we just have dinner already? Come on. Are we? Bugged? They bugged our place? I hope it's just a microphone and not a camera, otherwise he's a pervert as well. hell is this? Playing as a kid? 
Well, I wanted to really cut there, but it won't allow me to do shit. So I have to do this before I can save and exit. So let's just keep going. Yeah, it's a bit too high for you, ain't it? <laughs> I feel for you. Is there another way we can go? Smart, smart little kid. Ooh, watch your step now. It's weird playing as a kid. Okay. Well, don't walk towards that socket, or at least don't touch it. Are you... Can you touch it? Good. They didn't put it in the game, at least. Oh, you can actually run. Oh. Wait, what is this thing we're following? Is that daddy? Do we have to talk? Hey, what are you doing out of your crib? Is it Elvis Presley? Pull that off. Let's get you back safe and sound. No. Wasn't I supposed to do that? Apparently not. Oh. What is this? <laughs> Let's go sneak behind Papa. Are you again? Ah, clever one you are. Now be a good girl and stay put. Could you please not put me back in my crib? I'm trying to go somewhere. You're starting to sound like a real estate agent. I'm not going through the kitchen anymore. Daddy just keeps putting me back to bed. I don't want to go to bed. I want to. I want to go with the story. Now be very quiet. We might be able to go under the table. Is he going to see us? No? Okay, we're almost at Mama. Come. Why are we following a ghost? Hey, Saga. Are you up and about? Saga? Papa know you're here. What an I odd name. Papa knows. Don't worry. It'll be a little secret. Wait, really? Do we have to get, like, a broom or something? At least Mama is nice, you know? At least I can stay out of bed from Mama. Daddy's a bit of an asshole. <laughs> How are we gonna get up there? Can I take one of these chairs, maybe? No? How am I supposed to get in there? I'll find a way! Together we shall find a way, little one. Hey baby, mama's working. Give me a minute. One second, Saga. I'm just finishing this one sentence. Almost, almost. There. You done? Right. What do you want? I want you to open this. You want me to open the door for mm -hmm. you? I yes, please. That. There you go. Thank you so much, Mommy. Go into the fireplace again and get ashes all over the place, okay? Okay. Where was I? Hello, Saga. You're growing so fast, little one. Soon you will talk and remember and see with other eyes. Eyes that can no longer see me. There's so much of me in you, sister daughter. I know you cannot understand me now, but I want you to know that I will watch you and protect you. Thank you. Over time, Why? our link will weaken and you will be blind to me, but I will still be right here tomorrow in 10 years for as long as you live. Kind of creepy, but thank and you. And at the end, my sister, my daughter, we will reunite. 
the circle will be complete. The worlds rejoined, balance restored. The stories we will tell each other. I'll see you soon, my little saga. May the balance be with you always. Who are you talking to, Saga? What's all the babbling about? Is she in there? How in the stars did she get out? Magic, honey. It sounded like she was talking to someone. Hey, how did you go, baby girl? Did you spread wings and fly? Yes. There's... There's someone else in the house, Magnus. I can feel it. I don't feel anything. Don't worry, Etta. No one but us could ever get inside. It's impossible. I hope you're right. You're gonna put me back in bed? Might be a good idea. You're seeing ghosts, little guy. Girl. Papa's not the only one making stew. I would have called stew, Mama. Look at that smell! <laughs> you know what you've done. You know what you've done. Well, we finished book one. So, I'm gonna call here. Stay tuned for the next episode. Keep on rocking. Hit that like button. Take care.